And good morning. This is a CBS 2 News update. I'm Chris Raggy. Five firefighters are recovering this morning after suffering minor injuries at a fire in Brooklyn earlier this morning. The FDNY says it started around 3.30 a.m. at a three-story building on Coney Island Avenue in Kensington. There is a store on the first floor and apartments on the top two floors. The Red Cross is assisting 11 people. An unusual announcement this morning from the Police Sergeants Union. They want citizens to get involved when they see a cop struggling with a suspect. Bystanders will get a $500 cash reward for helping the officer. The NYPD says it's better to call 911. President Trump's former attorney is out on bail this morning after pleading guilty to eight federal charges in a Manhattan federal court. Michael Cohen admitted he paid hush money to two women, saying it was at the direction of then-candidate Trump in order to influence the 2016 election. Under the current plea deal, Cohen could spend about five and a half years in prison. From this point on, you're going to see uh, liberated uh, Michael Cohen speaking truth to power. The president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, released a statement saying there is no allegation of any wrongdoing against the president and the government's charges against Mr. Cohen. It is clear that, as the prosecutor noted, Mr. Cohen's actions reflect the pattern of lies and dishonesty over a significant period of time. And this morning, President Trump tweeted, if anyone is looking for a good lawyer, I would strongly suggest that you don't retain the services of Michael Cohen. He also suggested Cohen is making up stories in order to get a deal from federal prosecutors. Well, snatching packages right out of the back of delivery trucks. The NYPD is looking for a group of thieves caught on surveillance camera. Police say that the suspects targeted, parked, or idling trucks in several different cases. In the most recent incident on July 31st, four boxes of merchandise were taken off a truck on Madison Avenue. The alleged thieves also hit food delivery trucks and stole garment bags off of another truck. In total, investigators estimate the suspect, suspect got away with more than $16,000 worth of items. Now to a developing story. Parts of Hawaii are under a hurricane warning this morning. Hurricane Lane is a strong Category 4 with winds capable of causing catastrophic damage. It's predicted to move dangerously close to the islands. A hurricane warning is up for the Big Island of Hawaii. Watches are posted for Maui and other smaller islands. Highly populated Oahu may also end up under an advisory. With that said, let's get over to John Elliott in the Weather Center with your forecast. John? Well, I'll tell you what, here's a, a snapshot of this uh, very impressive storm and not in a good way. Classic definition with a well defined eye. Winds at 155 miles an hour moving west northwest at 9. So, yeah, it's over plenty of fuel. So, we're going to be watching it. And the concern is going to be the uh, path. It's being blocked and steered, I should say, steered by an area of high pressure off to the east. It weakens somewhat as it approaches the island, but boy, by this time tomorrow, it's very close to the big island. It's a category three, and then it makes the turn, but still, that's going to bring in the potential for damaging wind. With the mountains, though, the problem is going to be rain. This is going to be a big rainmaker. Could see over a foot of rain. We'll be watching that. In our area, we had some rain overnight. Right now, it's just cloudy and 76. Winds are variable. Shifting winds are going to cool us off soon. 76 in the city. Numbers pretty close to that. Flirting with 80 at the airports and also out on the island. Numbers are up and dew points are up. So there's enough instability for a stray shower in our area. And that's about all we're seeing. A possibility of a thunderstorm as well. But then high pressure sets us up for some great weather. Finally, a pool party at Raggy's. Yes. Thank you, Johnny. New York State Senator Tony Avella wants to see changes at the LaGuardia Airport flight path due to health concerns. A new Columbia University study claims that the noise generated by departing flights could reduce the lifespans of 83,000 Queens residents by about a year. The flight path in question is called the Tennis Climb. It was originally only in use during the U.S. Open to keep departing planes away from Arthur Ashe Stadium. But since 2012, that route has been used year-round. Researchers claim the increased noise from the flight patterns could put residents at higher risk of cardiovascular disease and anxiety disorder. American Airlines is making changes to its international route network, including flights in and out of Kennedy Airport here in New York. The airline will be ending its current scheduled flights from JFK to Dublin, Edinburgh, Edinburgh Scotland to Port-au-Prince, Haiti. American is adding some international flights in other places, including new regular flights from Philadelphia to Italy and Croatia. Now, if you think you're seeing things when you see pumpkins and candy canes already in stores, your eyes are not fooling you. Retailers are getting a head start this year with holiday items on shelves before Labor Day. CBS News' Rena Roy finds out how you can get the most for your money. 
Costumes, skeletons, and scarecrows, oh my. Uh, it's kind of early, <laughs> and it's always that reaction that I have. And this isn't a trick. The aisles and aisles of Halloween merchandise spooking shoppers, and Thanksgiving decorations, too. Not to mention the array of Christmas wreaths and holly already arrived. When I see Christmas, I'm not ready for it. Some disagree, saying the holiday head start is a treat, even in the dog days of summer. Well, I'd love it. I think it's great. It's better than thinking about the hot summer. It gets me in the mood, you know. It's wonderful. And if you wait too long, you miss out on everything. You'd be surprised how fast this stuff goes. So the big question is, should you buy your seasonal items this early or should you wait? We asked a shopping expert to find out how to get the best deals. The sales will get better as you get closer to the season, so hold off. Andrea Warrock says you may see some sales, but don't be fooled. Prices will keep dropping. They want to create that sense of urgency and make you feel like you need to buy it now. She tells us stores are putting out items earlier each year. It's a marketing tactic called the holiday creep, strategically designed to get shoppers spending. Just keep your shopping radar focused on what you need now. She says if you can, make do with the decorations you already have so you can get even better prices after the holidays pass. Rena Roy, CBS 2 News. Shopping experts also recommend using price tracking apps to buy items at the exact right time. And out of this world sporting event, 220 miles above the earth, the first ever tennis match in space. To boldly play tennis where no one has played before. NASA and the European Space Agency astronauts played zero-gravity doubles aboard the International Space Station. It was shown live last night using 3D projection mapping on the Unisphere in Flushing Meadows Corona Park. The crew used cargo tie-downs as a tennis net and set it up in one of the roomier areas of the spacecraft. The gravity-defying match was conceived in partnership with the U.S. Open, which is now underway with its qualifying tournament. It all makes sense. Well, the team from Staten Island takes on the team from Honolulu, Hawaii at the Little League World Series tonight. The winner advanced to the U.S. title game on Saturday. Tonight's game gets underway at 7.30. First pitch, CBS 2 Steve Overmeyer on his way to Williamsport right now and will be there. All right, so we're on our way to the Little League World Series. The team from Staten Island is now just one victory away from the U.S. title game. Uh, tonight's big matchup is going to be pretty exciting. And I got to be honest with you, this is the first time that I've been to Williamsport. First time. Have you ever been to Williamsport? Greg, Greg Giglione, by the way, is, is along with us. Have you ever been there? Did you, did you play in the Little League World Series? <laughs> I, I did not. I, did, I did, you, not. did you play Little League? I, I was Division I Little League. You were a D1 Little League player. <laughs> I love it. What what position did you play in? in oh, right field. I was a catcher, oh. which was it kept me in every play. Maybe we'll get some more fun little league stories in a little bit. But we're on the road right now, and uh, we're going to be live tonight at five and six. And um, this is going to be such a great story. And I can't wait to meet all of these kids from uh, from the Staten Island team. So until then, I hope you guys are going. And if not, then uh, at the very least, I hope you're going to be watching on TV tonight. No, Steve, don't stop. I want to hear more about Greg's Little League career. <laughs> well, every year, the New York State Fair unveils a tribute to the state's dairy industry, and appropriately, it's rendered entirely in butter. Here's a look at this year's creation entitled, Your Milk Comes from a Good Place. It shows a farmer delivering milk directly to a customer in a grocery store. It's the fair's 50th butter sculpture. The tradition started back in 1969, and it'll be on display at the fair, now underway in Syracuse, until September 3rd. All right, that's your CBS 2 News update. I'm Chris Raggy. Thanks so much. Please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Chris Raggy. We'll see you there.